Hey everyone, it's your friend Think Noodles, and welcome to Ask Think episode number 103 for Monday, May 26th, 2014. Now you guys are probably wondering how many likes were on last week's video, and we got to 1,175, a little bit short of the 1,250 likes, and probably because I looked at this and I got all the questions and stuff on Saturday night, so it was two days in advance. So anyway, the closest person at that time was Yong Jin on with 1,156. And guys, don't worry. I don't normally do this on Saturdays. And I'm still looking at the questions for next week's on uh, Sunday and Monday. But uh, <laughs> I did it because uh, Monday is a holiday. My wife has Monday off. And I don't want to have to do Ask Think on the same day that she's off because it takes me a long time and she might be like, oh man, I'm off and you, you can't you can't do anything? Okay, so yeah. <laughs> so let's see if we can get up to 1,250 likes again, guys. I know you can do it. Now, before we get to the questions, I want to remind you to leave your question in the comments below so I can have something to answer next week. Remember, only one question per comment. But you can leave as many comments as you like. Don't forget to thumb up yours and other people's comments so I get to see them and they don't get deleted as much. And if the comments on this Ask Think are closed, go to the most recent Ask Think and ask your question there. Now, of course, we have to look at the answers for last week's question, which was if you could go anywhere, where would it be and why? And the first and one of the most popular answers was one I didn't even expect. A ton of people said they would go to Fink's lab. Then other people, of course, said they would go to New York to see me. Even Dave. Uh, <laughs> then uh, someone said Italy. Then another person said Australia. Uh, someone said Brazil because of the World Cup coming up. Um, someone said not just Italy, but ancient Rome, which I thought was really interesting. A couple of people said China, but for very different reasons. <sighs> Kevin, yep. <laughs> and uh, I liked this one. The noodle island where the streets are pasta, grass is made of noodles, trees are chopsticks, and wild copies live there. It was amazing. Uh, a lot of people said Camp Half-Blood as well. Someone said an island in the middle of nowhere to get a great break, and that's true too. Um, cool guy Cheng said he would go to Tokyo because it's cool and it has noodles and I'm planning on going to Tokyo in uh, March next year. And then Bryce had about the same answer that I did. And I would want to go to another planet or even space and he said space because he would want to float in zero gravity so that is awesome. And this week's question is, and it's kind of self-serving, <laughs> what did you do? for your last birthday. One more thing before we get to the questions. On a Friday, guys, I hit 250,000 subscribers, which is incredible. Thank you guys so very much. And it's a really exciting number. I mean, not because, of, you know, I mean, you know, it was 100,000 and 200,000 and, you know, next technically milestone is 300,000, but 250,000 is an exciting number because it allows you to start talking in terms of a million. And I know it's still, you're like, you guys are like, probably, like, hey, <laughs> you're not anywhere close to a million. I know, but when you hit 250,000, you can talk about it in terms of one million, as in one quarter of a million. So it's, I have a quarter million and that is so exciting. Thank you guys so much. Now on to the questions, and the first one is about my birthday, which yes, guys, I am turning 37 years old this Friday, May 30th, and I don't really know what we have planned yet. <laughs> I, I wanted to go uh, do karaoke with, um, with my wife and her family, because they've always said, oh, karaoke sounds so fun, and they never go, and so when it's my birthday, and I want to do something, everybody's got to do it. So that's why I want to take them. 
Ben, gamer says, think. I love your channel. I'm thinking of visiting New York soon. I want to meet you, but my mom doesn't even know I watch you, and she most likely won't want me going up to a random guy and say, hey, can I have your autograph? I'm sure she would allow me if she knew how much of a friend and advisor you are like to me. Any ideas to convince her you're a good guy? Well, honestly, it's really, really hard. Um, and I've talked to uh, parents about this before, uh, especially my wife. She talked about it a lot with parents at MineCon because I was busy with you guys and the parents kind of didn't have anything to do and she was kind of like my parent because you know I'm a little kid too guys uh, <laughs> but um you know she, she hung out with the parents while I talked to you guys and and uh, she, a lot of them said you know I'm really glad I came to MineCon and let so-and-so meet him and I got to see him and got to meet you uh, because as a parent um, we're really, really cautious about this whole YouTube thing and uh, adults playing games and, and having ch uh, young subscribers. We just don't know who's on the other end, no matter how they sound, no matter how they act. We never really know. And now that we've actually met you guys, it makes me feel so much better that it's genuine. And so what I'm trying to say is the only way to convince her that I'm a good guy is probably for her to actually meet me um, before she'll decide that, you know, oh, it's, you know, it, it really is okay. But it's kind of a paradox because, um, y y y or not a paradox. Is that a paradox? No, I, it's a catch-22. She has to meet me to know I'm a good guy, but she needs to think I'm a good guy to meet me. You get what I'm saying? Do the games FTW asks, do you own your own house? No. <laughs> Real estate in Manhattan is very, very expensive. We rent an apartment. Madeline Sebastian asks, think do you read all your comments on your survival series, Hexit series, etc.? I try to, but of course, a lot of them disappear before I get to read them, but I always look. Widgy6 asks, how's the weather outside? Do the opposite of how it is. It is sunny today, and it is going to be so annoying. <laughs> Luigi Ben asks, do you ever video chat with your family? Yes. When we're on vacation, we FaceTime with uh, my parents, because they take care of Kopi when we're gone, almost every day. Flavia Maria Coconu asks, hey, think, where can we get your wife's skin? It's so pretty. If you go to my website, and that's at the top of my channel, uh, my main channel page, or you can just go thinknoodles.me. Uh, go to the alt version, girl skin in blue, and that's my wife's skin. CJI asks, great question. If you had one, what nickname did your mother call you as a child? <laughs> that is a really good question. My mom called me Pumpkin, <laughs> which is what I call Kopi a lot now. Trin at Tori asks, have you and your wife ever had a fight so bad that she left the house for a few nights? No, I mean, of course, we get in disagreements from time to time. Uh, mostly, you know, because, well, <laughs> I work a lot, she works a lot, but, you know, really, not that much. But uh, when we do have a disagreement or an argument, there's never, ever, ever bad enough that either of us leave the house. Sandra Frost asks, how clean is your apartment? Hmm... Right now, not very. <laughs> the Scottish Lima Bean asks, does your wife shed along with Kopi? Yes, but not like she used to. When she had that long, really like crazy long hair that was literally five feet long, she would shed. I mean, it would be the same amount of hair that would come out, like, you know, number of strands, I guess. But when it's that long, it's a lot more hair. And... She broke one of our vacuums, <laughs> her hair, because it wraps around the beater brush uh, and just, oh, it's crazy. Noodles Think asks, do you have a separate Gmail because of how it always emails you when you someone comments? No, I don't. Uh, what I do is I disable the email uh, for just about everything. I actually think other than the inbox private messages, I have uh, YouTube not send me any emails. Shad Wow Wayer asks, what program do you use to make your new Thinks Lab thumbnails? I use a demo copy of Cinema 4D and I use a rig that Russ Playing made me. But one of the problems with Cinema 4D and the demo version 
And the reason I had the demo version and I, I, I didn't buy the full version is because I don't use it that much. But one of the problems with it is you can't save things. And so every time I load it up to make a new thumbnail, my rig is just standing there all stiff and straight and, and uh, it's kind of a pain. Wid G6 asks, what's the smartest thing you said in a video? Well, I think the smartest thing I've said recently was on the Pigzilla video. And that was, I can feel it in my frame rate. <laughs> People seem to love that. Mike Ogara asks, I've heard you like Once Upon a Time. Who is your favorite character? I think it's Killian. Um, uh, what a hook. Um, and I, I don't, I just, I've always, I, I don't know. Maybe it's the actor. He plays a good Captain Hook. I don't know, but I think he's my favorite. Tyler wants Snapple <laughs> asks, think what web browser do you have? Chrome, Firefox, etc. I have Chrome, I have Firefox, I have Safari, but 99% of the time I use Chrome. Thrasher Gaming asks, are you going to get the new video game Wolfenstein? And, <laughs> you know, I saw uh, some ads for it, uh, the local GameStop when I walked past and I was like, wow. That brings back memories. I'm sure probably very, 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 very few of you, if any, have ever played the original Wolfenstein 3D. Uh, maybe maybe there's, uh, there might be a mobile version of it. But anyway, I played the original on a PC. I remember that game when it came out and it was incredible. It was, I think the first FPS game at a, ever of all time, uh, Doom came after Wolfenstein 3D. And I remember how cool that game was. Oh my goodness. Um, I, I don't know what the new one's like because I actually haven't seen any trailers of it, but it brings back memories. Snickercraft asks, is the ice or water in New York very clean? Yes, it is. You, you wouldn't think because you know, you, the, the rivers that run on either side of the Manhattan, not very clean, but we have really good water treatment apparently. And New York is known for having very, very good uh, tasting water. That's why our bagels and pizza are so good as well because of the, 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 the way that New York water is. And that's not because it's dirty, so it tastes good because it's dirty, but, but that it's clean. Ty Morrison asks, can you really sail on the migrator on Club Penguin? Bye bye. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't. The only thing you can do on the Migrator is get on board when it's docked on island. Caitlin Keats asks, why don't you do the people's names in alphabetical order on Club Penguin like you used to? Please put on Ask Think. Well, the reason is I toyed with it again. I said it in one of my Think Thursdays. I was like, hey, you guys want me to do it in alphabetical order again? Leave a comment below. And everyone said no. <laughs> so people like it when I do it random, apparently. Hey, Games asks, I have an idea. You know how people always comment on Think Slab that they want a minion? I realized that about 60% of the comments, no, 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 it's more like 90, are like name a girl candy or something so they can get their name on screen. Also, I do know you want mod suggestions. I realize you don't get many. My idea is that you take a suggestion of a mod from the last video and show that viewers comment on screen at the very end. That way noodlers are encouraged to give more suggestions. Noodlon, that's a really good idea. Uh, a lot of times I come up with the mods. I mean, uh, I guess I get some of them from you. It's actually 100% true. I do get actually mm, a lot of suggestions from you guys. Uh, so that's a really good idea. And to encourage you guys to give me more suggestions on mods you'd like to see because I don't know them and you guys know them a lot better than I do. And when you suggest one, I can be like, oh, I could work that in really well into a story. So yeah, that's a good idea. Dolly Tulip asks, who's your favorite minion on Things Lab? Mine's Dave and Carolina eats noodles. I like Kevin. He's like me, ruining other people's life in the best way possible. Yeah, I think mine is Kevin too. Think, I know this is quite outdated, but in the 1.8 snapshot review, how did you get sharpness 10 sword? Oh, uh, it's a slash give command and you can see it on screen right now. What, I, what you do is you give yourself the sword with a pre-programmed enchantment uh, because you can't really do it with an anvil. Jesse Williams says, think on everything slab. Can you like start a new series like magic behind blah, blah, blah? Well, I could and it wouldn't be terribly hard because 
I've already edited it and that I could just take some scenes that are unedited and show you the difference. But I don't want to do that on every video because I feel like it's kind of cheap content. <laughs> I mean, I maybe you guys really liked it. I don't know. Um, maybe I, I could show you tricks that I do, but not, I, I don't want to ruin the magic for you guys. Like, for example, in, um, in the Pigzilla one, uh, some of my editing, I'm, I'm getting better at it. Uh, you m probably didn't even notice when I switched versions. Uh, the, <laughs> the trail mix mod is only made for 1.6. It's not updated to 1.7 and the Pigzilla mod is only for 1.7. They never made it for 1.6. So I had to figure out a way to make these two because uh, I wanted the story to be, you know, the trail mix stuff is what called Pigzilla, but they're in separate versions. So what I did is I switched versions mid recording. And I, you know, that that's one of the things that is sort of uh, hidden because of editing. And I, I some people said on the magic behind the Wizard of Oz one, they said that it ruined not only the magic for the Wizard of Oz video, but everything slab after that. So uh, I don't want to do it every week because then you guys will start saying, oh gosh, like I see this video and look at how boring it is. Like I know oh, oh, he edited there. Oh, yeah, that's fake. You know, I'd really like you guys to be surprised and impressed and, um, and, and very excited about the videos rather than saying oh there's another editing trick and looking for those things but i will do more of the magic behind i just won't do them every week isaac maz asks what happened to the minecon minecraft adventure 2013 on episode five this has been asked a lot over the past few months and i answered it uh i think i answered it in episode five maybe but also in a previous i think but i thought i would address it again um, basically the map is semi-broken. Uh, some of the redstone didn't work, didn't spawn the minecrackers that needed to be there to continue the map. So I couldn't progress any further. Uh, there was supposedly a fix I found on the Broken Buttons forum uh, to place a piece of redstone or a repeater. And I put it in and it still didn't do anything. So until they rehaul the map, I won't be able to do it again. Although I loved that adventure map. Animal Lover 2 asks, so I play survival and I really enjoy the hunger feature. So I'd like to plan easier normal, but I have a problem with hostile mobs. I just get kind of worried about mobs. You don't seem very scared about mobs. So can you please answer because it's just kind of hard for me to decide about it all. Thanks and noodle on. Don't be afraid of them, especially if you've got armor. Once you have iron armor, and an iron sword, you really, really don't have to worry. What you could do if you're really, really super worried about it is you can do a game or slash game rule, keep inventory true so that if you do get killed in the beginning, you'll get to keep your stuff. But after a while, please turn it off because it's kind of cheating a little bit, but, uh, but maybe it'll make you feel better about it. Then you can play with the mobs and you're like, oh, this isn't bad at all. And then uh, disable the keep inventory. Dogmaster Quadruple 7 asks, Hey, think on the world that has things lab in it. Is the lab the only custom structure in the world, or is there more structures on the world? If so, can you give an example? Actually, yeah, the uh, the only custom structure on the entire world is things lab. There's nothing else there unless I happen to build it in an episode, like the farm and whatnot. Um, the, the city is actually, of course, a separate map. Uh, it's not on the same map, not in the same world. Ian Wong asks, hey, think, how do you find always loaded chunks? I'm playing factions and I'm going to make a sugarcane farm. Thanks. Well, I don't know how to do it on a server, but maybe, I don't know, maybe you can. I'm not really sure. But if you watch the episodes where I'm making the iron golem farm, uh, I think it's, uh, I think it's after I steal or kidnap the villagers uh, on my survival. Let's play on the noodle planet. If you look in those, uh, I do show you how I determined what my always loaded chunks were, and I used it by dropping blocks. Zombie Agent 111 asks, think, can you use gameplay of you setting up ThinkSlab for Ask Think? Well, not in this one, because I'd already done it on the core with a bunch of you guys. But yeah, I mean, I will do that in the future. I may as well. It does take me a long time to set it up. Um, but I don't know, again, with ruining the magic, I don't know. S. White asks, on one of your previous ThinkSlab, Kevin sets a TNT trap. How did you get his inventory? 
Well, that is, um, it's a secret, but it's, it's mostly editing. Jasmine Mazol asks, do you think, when do you think you will battle your friends in Pixel Core? Uh, I don't think it'll be this week because Tuesday's coming up pretty quickly and again with the Monday holiday. I don't think we have time to plan it for Tuesday, but uh, I think next week. Money JS, think will you ever show us your noodle recipe on Things Lab? Of course I will, but you're gonna have to wait quite a long time. Mr. Want asks, think, did you stop doing the MHC? And if you guys didn't know, MHC is the Minecraft Hardcore Challenge. And yes, for now, I have stopped. And the reason is, you guys didn't like it that much. I mean, some people did definitely. I mean, everyone has a favorite, and some people, that was their favorite series. But the overwhelming majority did not like it. And I got a lot of comments, and it's the most I've ever gotten on any videos, were just, I hate MHC. You know, this stinks. Uh, why do you play this? I'd rather see that. Like, it was... A rough time for me, <laughs> you know, because um, I thought it was something you guys would like to see and something exciting and it was overwhelmingly negative and um, I, I just decided, you know, I'll just, um, you know, I'll just continue with the series that everybody does like or that everybody do like or everyone likes. There. <laughs> Justin Plays says, I love watching Things Lab, and I wonder how long does it take to make scripts and a storyline for each episode? Well, um, you know, the storyline, I kind of just think abstractly in my head. So, for example, with the Trail Mix mod and Pigzilla, uh, for our, I'd, I'd taken someone's suggestion. They wanted me to do the Trail Mix mod, but I thought about it. I was like, how am I going to do a Trail Mix one? It, it, there's not enough in the mod for me to do, you know, a full Things Lab episode where there's a storyline in it. And then I saw the Pigzilla one, it's from the same mod creator. And I was like, hmm, that's pretty cool. I wish I could figure out a way to work that together. You know, I, I could work that with something else. And then I thought they would work really well together. And uh, then it just came, it sort of just came to my head that, you know, that Kevin would farm. I, I don't really know where it came from. It was just like, eh, okay, we'll try that. And uh, that storyline came into my head. I mean, over a period of a few days, not that I was like really racking my brain for a storyline, but it just sort of came to me. Oh, I have one coming up on Saturday. What what should I do? This and that. And that's what came up. Uh, as far as the script, the script does take a little bit longer. Um, I, I usually sort of bullet point uh, important events that I want to happen. So it sort of progresses. And uh, But really, truthfully, um, most of the time is um, on setup and then on multiple takes. Uh, I, I, in the beginning part, I think I did like four <laughs> takes at the beginning because, oh, I forgot something or all oh, my inventory was wrong because I, one time I, I, no, no, my inventory was right. Oh yeah, I don't know. It just, it took multiple takes uh, and that's really what I waste a lot of time on is the multiple takes and of course the editing. Atcher B1 asks, why are you afraid of creepers in survival if you have OP armor? And that goes back to the other person who said, you're not afraid of things. Well, creepers I'm afraid of, and it's not because I'm going to die, not because I'm going to get hurt, not because I might lose my inventory. Don't care about any of that. What I do care about is the griefing that creepers cause. Uh, the reason I'm afraid of them is I don't want them to grief anything I've built. I They could blow me up as fine, it's fine, I don't care, you can kill me, I don't care. But when you mess up terrain... <laughs> <laughs> or break a structure, then we have a problem. <laughs> Braves JV asks, hey, hey, Think, can you help diagnose me? I don't have a dominant hand for some reason. The only things I can do, it sounds like you're ambidextrous, but the only things I can do right-handed are right, throw, and shoot. But everything else I do left-handed, I eat, brush my teeth, okay, and kick with my left hand. So what do you think? Well, I think you should probably be kicking with your foot. Uh, that might be the problem that you need me to diagnose. <laughs> Just kidding. But no, I'm very, very similar. Adam Khan says, if you were grounded for three weeks in your room with the only book, why pasta is better than noodles, what would you do? A, read the book and think it's interesting, so you change your name to think pasta. B, throw the book in the garbage. C, pretend to read, or D, quit your career and read all the books in the series, or E, 
You tried to use your noodle powers to destroy the book, but it didn't work. Noodle on. Um, I would try to destroy the book and wow, <laughs> that's a terrible book. Why would you even come up with that title? <laughs> think is old. <laughs> Commitment right here, guys. It says, hey, think we all know you saw Pangea in person, but I must ask, how was the beginning of time? How was it to see the big bang occur? Okay. I am turning 37 years old, not 37 million years old. Come on. Connor Sexton says, hey, think, do you ever feel like someone needs a high five in the face with a chair made of steel <laughs> repeatedly? Um, sometimes I feel like banging my own head into a chair made of steel <laughs> repeatedly. <laughs> Program Ninja says, PETA, five Two, four, fourteen, fourteen, and nineteen. This is PETA. We have heard of countless animal abominations you have done. Cloning DNA to make your so-called minions. Trapping animals in glass jars for DNA superpowers. Shooting pigs out of guns. Summoning Pigzilla, then riding it. Feeding animals radioactive trail mix. The crimes against animals are countless. All created by you and your minions. Your minions will be shipped off into an animal treating center for proper care, and you will go to jail. We hope this will stop your animal cruelty. Message to Think Noodles, if that is his real name. That, sir, was amazing. I love it. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, guys, that's it for this week's Ask Think. Don't forget to leave your question in the comments below so I can have something to answer next week. I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching. And of course, Nulan.